Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to another Explorer video. So I've been a little bit busy lately, so I just wanted to get out an easy video this time that I know it's pretty powerful and also works, and that is Mono White Weenies. Of course, there's some couple of new additions, especially with the March of the Machine aftermath that pushed Mono White Aggro to be way more powerful than what it was before. And after testing out the Copper Coat Vanguard in Historic, I can 100% say that this car is completely busted. I was thinking about playing this in Orge of Color, but one card that I really don't like in Mono White Weenies is Brutal Cathar. So if I were to go Orge of Color, then I wouldn't have the luxury to play Ossification, which is a premium removal card. So I decided to stick with Mono White Aggro, and we're also going to be playing two copies of Knight Errant of Eos, just because we play 10 copies of one drops that allows us to get the Convoke out pretty easily. As for the sideboard, there is a really, really interesting addition to the sideboard, and that is two copies of Destroy Evil and two copies of Gideon of the Trials. The reason why Destroy Evil is in this deck is not only is this card really good against a lot of enchantment decks, especially the Fires of Mention, Enigmatic Incarnation, but it also deals with the new combo deck, Archfiend of the Dross. And of course, the other card, Gideon of the Trials, allows you to get an emblem that says as long as you control this planeswalker you can't lose the game and your opponent can win the game which is going to be a counter to archfiend of the Dros combo deck and the plus one also makes the archfiend deal zero damage in the air in theory i think this card will be pretty good versus them so i'm going to be trying this deck out in explore best of three to show you guys how the deck does so let's hop on over okay we're both diamond one I'll allow it. Seems like a decent hand. Um, I wish this was not a Muta Vault. TBH. Strangle main deck. You don't see that every day. Okay, I would like a land, please. Okay. It's unfortunate. Um probably bone crusher giant. Yeah, imagine if uh, this was a white land, right? We could have played the Brave the Element there, which would be pretty insane there. Feels bad. Okay, feels bad. Being stuck on land, always uh, not good. Why aren't they attacking? Another Mutavolt! Oh, man. That feels really, really bad. Double Thalia? Sure. So they have a fatal push, but they chose not to use it on the hopeful initiate. Hmm. I know they could have another bone crusher giant, but. Yeah, there you go. Double Mutavolt. 
Pretty unlucky. I could continue this, or I can just go to next game. I think going to next game is a logical choice there. I really don't like wasting too much time, so let's have some wedding announcements. And um, I'm going to cyborg out the Brutal Cathars just because it just gets removed Im immediately, and then they just get the stuff back. It's not really ideal. Let's go with this. What? Mutavolt, what, what are you doing? Surely you're not the only card in my deck. Okay, no fatal push. This is fine because now we get to attack. I could also just get the knight out now. Huh. Yeah, actually, let's do that. Okay, apparently today is not the day to be playing Mono White. <clears throat> that was like what? Uh, I think I think it was like four lands in the ossification. Yeah, apparently today was not the day to be playing this deck. Okay, luck sack. Let's see. Get those muta vaults up. That's a fat hopeful initiate. It's a three four. Looks like they have a Brotherhood's End, maybe. This Mutavolt is dealing 6 damage a turn. They shock. They have to call odd. I think this is better since Dolly attacks them. Okay, we somehow survived even after missing with the Knight Errant of Eos. A little bit unlucky. Ooh. So we can go like Dahlia, Copper Coat. Huh. We could even go like recruitment officer and then pass the turn. Is that crazy? Because right now Blood Tithe Harvester just gets rid of it anyways. 
think I'm just going to do this. Hopefully, maybe they sacrifice Blood Tithe Harvester. Um, call Black. Maybe I should have attacked first. But I don't think they would have blocked anyways. Bone Crusher Giant. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, so that confirms it. It's just blood token. Wow, discarding a tr a graveyard trespasser. That's kind of crazy. So if they block the copper coat, I don't think they will block the copper coat anyways, since they're going down to one life. It just doesn't make any sense. I feel like I would block Mutavolt, right? Yeah. Okay, final turn. Okay, we won. GG's. Rakdos can be a hard matchup. I think I think I kind of sideboarded wrong. I don't think you're you're supposed to have brave the elements after the sideboard. Ooh, no one drops. I'm gonna keep it just because... I don't know. Just because it's like a first game. What a... What a draw! Like, that was insane. Okay. It's just that easy, guys. Just play the stack. Thought sees surrender. So I think opponent is playing Archfiend of Drill stack. I feel like that is what's happening. Okay, we'll play some Redain. Guess Brutal Cathar isn't that great. Also, Knight doesn't seem great either, since we're sideboarding in like a lot of like non-creature spells. I think I'll have Destroy Evil in place of Ossification, just because Ossification is a sorcery spell. This is the most important card, right? Destroy target enchantments or Brave the Elements. Yeah, Brave the Elements is actually pretty cool. Since we're bringing in Gideon here, I think we can cut on the wedding announcement. And for the last card, I think I'll just go down and brave the elements. 
So that sideboarding was um, kind of a stab in the dark. Oh my god, mutables. Today, the mutables just love me today. So yeah, it, it is a bit of a stab in the dark just because I all I saw was the mirror. Okay, that's uh that's this is a fatal push. Um knowing they are going to play fatal push, should I play this recruitment officer when I have brave the elements? Sure. Oh. I cyborged wrong. It's just a this is a um, rogue deck. Okay, um my bad. Absolutely insane star actually. Should I block this? The thing is, they're gonna grow into a 3-2, right? So this is going to trade either way later on, right? Hmm. Kaito. Sneak right by, but I'm itching to fight. So they tapped out. Now this kind of cool. Ossification. I think we need to get the Gideon out. Show me what you can do. Now it's my turn. They play the Ottawara. That's interesting. Thanks. I'll be taking that now. Creature or planeswalker. Okay, well, we can kill Kaito here. Or should I play the Redane? Okay, I... I made a mistake. That's not what I wanted to do. I thought the... I thought the... I thought the zero... <laughs> Oh my god. I thought the zero was turning it into a human. Oh my god. That's so bad. That's so bad. Oh, I just lost Gideon for free. You love to see it. If this is a drown, I'll just leave. Okay, spell pierce. I don't know why they brought a spell pierce. <laughs> Wait, why, why do they have a spell pierce? Okay, that's kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, Gideon can go. Uh, Knight comes in. I think Brave the Elements can go. We'll have Portable Holes instead. Destroy Evil can go. I think that's it. Redane can go. Yeah, I mean... I guessed... What they were gonna play, and it didn't pay off. Sometimes it'd be like that. That sucks.
They did not take the wedding announcement. It's kind of crazy. Because now they have to have exactly spell pierce, right? Which is not something I'm going to play around versus the rogue deck. Like, they shouldn't be bringing spell pierce to begin with. Because if this is drowned, this resolves and I'm happy. Well, this is just going to get blocked anyways. I don't think Kaito is also a card that you should be playing versus an aggro deck too, right? It's kind of weird. Okay, that's a really good mill. Draw a card? They also tapped out. Should I draw a card or make a token? If you attack with two or more creatures. Okay, I'm just going to attack then. I thought it was uh, three or more creatures. But I guess this works out. I think I'm going to attack and then ossification. Hopefully that they tap out. I'm not even going to attack Kaito, honestly. Excuse me? Freaking Mihook Massacre? Okay, uh, I didn't expect a Mihook Massacre. Oh, that's some serious counter counter intelligence. I think I'm gonna make a dude here. Go for their throat. Okay, Mihawk Massacre. Wow, like... Are they not playing a rogue deck? What's happening here? They're playing the mirror control at the moment. <laughs> Imagine having Thoughtseize versus a uh, aggro deck. Would not be me. I think I'm just going to attack and make a dude with the Castle Art of Veil. Okay, so we can still make it. Okay, running out of stuff. Good to know. I feel like their Thoughtsy's turn one was pretty bad. They should have taken the wedding announcement, right? Okay, we're seemingly flooding. 16 cards. Nine lands. Feels bad, man. So we attack all. Brazen B.
Okay, I think opponent's dead. Tate. <laughs> oh my god, what are these mills? So lucky. Okay, let's say this is um a removal spell. Then they're at six. They block this. Oh, that's good. What a top deck. They only have two mana though. Okay, they have three mana. Okay, portable hole was actually a really nice draw. Drown in the log. GG's. Let's go first. This is kind of a bad hand, but maybe we can like curve it out. Nope. We are most definitely not curving it out. We are incredibly not curving it out. Feels bad. Feels real bad. At least we can kill the Graveyard Trespasser. Okay, Deg, I need you to work with me. Like, you need to give me... Like... You need to give me a creature here. This is crazy. Something suspicious is going on. Drop it. Like I'm actually just going to lose this straight up because <laughs> Oh man. They call me the removal spell mono white control. You got me. One for one. <laughs> oh my god. What is this game? What is this game? I flooded. And I don't have a creature. I mean, a Ganjo is actually not that bad. I'll take that. You know what? I'll take a Ganjo. It's better than nothing. Oh boy! Eight lands in top 14. 22 land deck, by the way. Oh boy. I mean, I don't think there's any card that I can draw to get me out of this. To be perfectly honest with you. I don't think there is a single card. I'm too behind. It needs to be like series of opponent missing. Like they have to flood as well. So, th so they have to flood. I'm actually not going to block this one. So they have to flood, start flooding. And they need to stop drawing removal spell.
<clears throat> but probably is that's not something that's gonna happen. Yep, yep, yep. This is another removal spell. Looks like they have another fatal push. Opponent never runs out of gas. I think that's game. So, I mean, I skipped too many turns. And at the same time, you know, that happened. Brutal Cathar can go. I think I'll have a Goba Ken going first. Very funny deck. A flood into one lander. Classic. Very classic. You always want to play the Hopeful Initiate versus a Recruitment Officer when there's a Thalia because... Especially if you're going first. Since uh, they can't Bone Crusher Giant here, that means Hopeful Initiate is going to be a 2-3, right? Not blocking. Kind of crazy. I even offered to trade. Land me? Hmm. Uh, wow. I don't... Wow, that's crazy. Um... Get rid of go blank, actually. Right now, I can't beat a go blank. If they go blank me here. That attack is so weird. Okay, uh, that was a really good draw. So I'm going to pop this because not only this makes it so that uh, they lose a Bonecrush Giant, but they also can't play the Blood Tithe Harvester and these guys can't really attack here either. So... I'm gonna take the Shaldred. What, what are they doing? <laughs> What's happening? Okay, where is my land? So last game we flooded, and this game we are stuck on lands. Freaking fantastic. We don't care about Thoughtseize, since every card is gas. I think you actually take the wedding announcement. It's too good.
land me? Thank God. Okay, so Blood Tithe Harvester, huh? I'm I'm going to attack with this. Because I want to protect my Copper Coat Vanguard. This is my home, and I don't appreciate it when people touch my things. <sighs> Sacrifices Liliana doesn't do too much because um, we're not really worried about Trespasser at the moment. Just one for one, right? And we can just chump block one if we wanted to. Luck favors the foolish after all. Fatal push. Think I will actually crack this. What is this auto tapping? Are you serious? Okay, it didn't really matter, but what the heck is that tapping? Why didn't it tap the Copper Goat Vanguard? <laughs> Why did it? Not? What is that? Hello? Game? That's not cool. Why did you do that? Hmm. Does shelter do damage or lose life? I think it deals damage. Oh no, they deal lose to life. So Rodana's kind of not that good. I think we just run it back. Nice. It's a fatal push. You know, one thing that I've realized is uh, people keeping like thought seizes versus this deck. It makes no sense. But they do it. I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna play the Thalia just because if. I mean, for some reason, like Blood Tide Harvester. Doesn't get rid of the Dahlia, we can add a lane for pumping the Dahlia a little bit more, but... A Braid. Um, I think we just jammed the Wedding Announcement, right? I think it's just too good. Enough with the mysteries. Okay, opponent's crazy. They just lost Liliana for free. Like, w what are they doing? Oh, that's my cue to leave. Okay, we also need a land. So we can, like, Thalia and Gobekin at the same time. Oh, land would have been so good. Land would have been so good. So, I think I'm just going to jam Adeline in. Even if Sheldrake comes down... Okay, we just want to land here. I would like a land. No land. That's a bummer.
we really need to land there because we needed to see their hand. Like, we needed to invasion of Gobek in here. It's a really good thing that what they have right now is probably just a land. One, two, three, four. But that doesn't work, so... Knight is actually not that good. Actually, if we knight, it might force them to not crack the blood token. It's kind of a tempo loss, I guess. Sure. Actually, there's three, two... There's a bit of creatures there, though. Should I flip this? Man, this... This land business is so bad. Like, the fact that we just... We're missing one land makes it... It makes everything so awkward. Okay, it's a good thing we uh, didn't play Knight. Yes. That's fine. Why didn't they... I think Castle is more important, right? Because if we get to 5th land, we have Castle plus the Wedding Announcement combo, which is kind of insane. My god. I think it's time. We'll just play this. Look at all the lands that I saw. Like four lands, I think. Feels bad. Where are my lands at, yo? Where are my lands at? Okay, you know what? Let's go, Bakin. Nice. That must be like a shoulder or something. No one drops. But we're going first with Dahlia. Maybe that'll work out. I hate not having a one drop. Okay, blue. Thalia's good versus blue. Blue white. Thalia's really good versus blue white. Missing a land there is kind of a bummer though. So I guess we'll just hold up Brave the Elements. No, what are you doing, opponent? You're supposed to... This is an instant speed spell. So this old partition actually confirmed that they're not playing a removal. I mean, a board wipe. Oh, it's Lotus Field. Hmm. Well... I think we actually just knight. I think we want card advantage versus a, a control deck.
I can't believe I can't believe they just played a Ganjo. So they're playing the unknowing version. They're playing uh, discontinuity, Lotus Field shenanigans. This should be a good matchup. There it is, farewell. I would have really liked the land. Let's slow this down. Reverse. Okay, I mean. Okay, land doesn't exist. Land doesn't exist. Funny, funny game. You know what? I know my responsibility. Hurry. We got an Aganjo. Hmm, I think I'll just go to next game. Okay, we take out the ossification. Um, wedding announcements. Redane, Brave the Elements. Ruta Cathar, and we'll play Gideon. Gideon, Gideon, Gideon. And Invasion of Gobakin. Man, we've been kind of a uh, our our first games have always gone like so poorly, right? It's been kind of a bummer. It's been kind of bad, for sure. Okay, hopefully we draw land and win next turn. We do need a land to win the game here. That's an interesting block. Like, why didn't they block... Recruitment Officer? Even if you, like... Incubate? You're still not gonna be able to get out of this situation. So we need we need like um a hand like this, right? I don't think there's anything that can get them out of this, like Teferi's protection, I think that's three mana. Right? Okay, so we see that they're playing Shark, the Siege Shark. Do we want to change anything? Ossification? But they play Soul Partition. I think we just kind of like blast through it, hopefully. Oh man, another mediocre hand. They don't want to mulligan, so here we are. Blast zone. That's a funny card. That could be like detrimental though. Playing a blue white deck. Because, like, sometimes you don't have the colors to cast the, the form and a board wipe if you play too many colorless lands. I'm sure they don't play like more than one copy of it though. Probably not. I'd be very surprised.
They did this again. I don't know. It's tempting to uh, just attack with Mutavolt instead of playing the Dauntless Bodyguard, but I feel like I want to tax them. There it is. Hit you for six. Shark. Another... I think I actually have to play the Copper Coat Vanguard. That I can hit them for another four. Close game. Looks like a board wipe. Then we play Thalia into Mutavolt. Or I can actually play Adeline into Mutavolt. Okay, they're at one. Maybe it was Thalia, I don't know. Bone still hasn't surrendered. Oh, they're going to play the discontinuity. Cute. Six mana, draw a card, basically, what they did. I mean, zero mana, draw a card. Another shark. Okay, um, I will play the Thalia first. Actually, they can't even play Wandering Emperor at, at the moment. Yep. Okay. We got there. Okay, so... You know, it's just about what I expected. Uh, we played against... We beat uh, two Rakdos mid-range. We beat a rogue deck, which I thought it was actually Archmage of the Dross deck, Arch Archfiend of the Dross deck, excuse me. Which uh, I think it would have been cool. We have Destroy Evil, we have Gideon of the Trials, but turns out it was a rogue deck. And uh, I sideboarded it wrong, I put in Destroy Evils, Gideon of the Trials. I mean granted, G Gideon of the Trials would have been amazing, but I messed up. Instead of making it into a 4-4, I accidentally emblemed, but I gotta say, I think I was pretty unlucky in the first game most of the times. After sideboarding, we were able to win most of our games. I really like the sideboard. We got the wedding announcement versus control decks, Rakdos mid range, invasion of Gobekin versus a control deck. It was fantastic versus, it was actually pretty good versus a Rakdos mid range as well. Uh, we got two Gideon of the Trials versus Archfiend combo deck. And the Thalia is for Grease Fang, Mono Green, Cat Oven decks, and Redane you can play versus Facto Sacrifice, Cat Oven, to stop the Mayhem Devil pings. And obviously it's going to be really good, good versus a Control deck as well. And Destroy Evil versus Enigmatic Incarnation decks, Fire's Invention, 
and three copies of Portable Hole versus against Aggro decks. So our sideboard plan is pretty solid. We haven't actually seen a single copy of Brood of Cathar in five games. And thank God for that, because I really hate this card. Because I mean, there's so many Enter the Battle effect cars in Explorer, even Rakdos Midrange. This card is absolutely terrible. It gets killed by Bonecrusher Giant. You get rid of Blood Tithe Harvester. They stomp on your Brood of Cathar. They get another blood token. This car is just terrible. So thank God for ossification. And oh yeah, this card. This card is broken. I'm just gonna say it. This card is broken. But yeah, um, the deck works. If I could go down on Brutal Cathar, I could. And um, I kind of like the three Brave the Elements. Um, this deck used to have four copies of it. But just because now we play four copies of ossification and... Four copies of Copper Coat Vanguard. Four copies of Brave the Elements is a little bit too much. Maybe you couldn't even go down on Brave the Elements and go up on Dolan's Bodyguard, but that's up to you. Anyways, that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. If you did, leave a like, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye bye.